um, at least for me, is to sort of lower my expectations and just focus on executing. So Obviously, this strategy has been working for her since she's basically among the best in the sport, if not the best. Soon enough, the world will once again bear witness to her brilliance. Alpine skiing fans have been patiently waiting since the 58th FIS World Cup concluded on March 23rd to watch their favorite skiers once again compete for the Crystal Globe. The 2024-25 FIS Skiing World Cup season, set to begin soon, would showcase the exhilarating thrill of competitive skiers racing down challenging mountain slopes at breakneck speed. With a little over the left, until the 2024-25 season kicks off in Solden, Austria, several storylines already have fans excited. An MCL injury in January sidelined Michaela Schifrin's dream of reaching the historic 100 race mark. So all eyes will be on Schifrin to return to the top. Meanwhile, last season's overall champion, Lara Gutbarami, is aiming to retain her title. The 59th FIS Skiing World Cup season will take athletes to some of the most iconic slopes across the globe. The season finale on Michaela Schifrin's home soil for the first time in WC history. However, there won't be changes to the season opener. Men and women alpine skiing competitors will gather at Solden, Austria for the kickoff event of the 2024-25 season. However, after the giant slalom in Austria, the men's and women's events will take place at different venues, occasionally crossing paths. One of those occasions will be the 49th FIS Alpine Ski World Championships at Salbach, Austria. The last time Salbach hosted the World Championships was in 1991. The 13-day event will conclude roughly a month ahead of the season finale. Sun Valley, USA will host the final races of the FIS Skiing World Cup for the first time in history. All eyes will be on Team USA's standouts, such as Michaela Schifrin, Ryan Cochran Siegel, and others, to close the season on a high note. It goes without saying that Michaela Schifrin is ready to make her much-anticipated comeback with a major milestone in sight, 100 career race wins. Speaking of which, North American fans will have four opportunities during the 2024-25 season to cheer on the world's best ski racers racing downhill, Super G, Slalom, and Giant Slalom. The Killington Cup to be held on November 30th to December 1st will be the only opportunity for Northeast fans to experience World Cup racing. The event will feature the fastest female ski racers competing in slalom and giant slalom on the resort's signature superstar trail. All eyes will be on Team USA's Michaela Schifrin as she is on track for her historic 100th World Cup win. Then, the iconic Birds of Prey track at Beaver Creek, Colorado will open the World Cup speed season with back-to-back -back weekends of competition with two separate events for men and women on the famed Birds of Prey downhill course. As is tradition, the men will kick it off with downhill, Super G and Giant Slalom races scheduled from December 6th to 8th. Then the women will take over from December 14th to 15th. It's been nearly a decade since Beaver Creek last hosted women's alpine racing, and this winter the resort will be doing it in historic style as for the first time in history, the women will run downhill on the Birds of Prey race course. The weekend will also feature a women's Super G competition. Next is Sun Valley, Idaho, which, as you may remember, has successfully hosted four U.S. Alpine Ski Championships going back to 2016. This season, from March 22nd to 27, 2025, the resort will host the FIS Alpine Ski World Cup 2024 to 2025 finals, marking a significant moment for North American ski racing. The top skiers in each discipline, downhill, super G, giant slalom and slalom, will fight for overall titles in front of an American crowd during this week-long competition and accompanying celebration featuring the world's best alpine skiing as if watching athletes ride down the icy slopes or lift the crystal globe isn't thrilling enough. American star Michaela Schifrin's return to alpine skiing after her devastating injury last season is even more so. What's more, there's a lot for her to bank on. Her 100th win, hopefully, in a World Cup race for one, 
and there's the generous bounty. Interestingly, even as the FIS Skiing World Cup circuit stops at multiple countries, from Austria to Italy, France, Germany, the United States, and so on, the prize money that players take away remains the same. Each race comes with an individual prize purse of 144,000 Swiss francs, which comes up to $169,344 approximately. Whereas, the total purse for the entire World Cup until March is a whopping 14,900 Swiss francs which is close to $16.5 million. Players can receive varying prize money depending on their finishing ranks. In the 2023-24 season, the prize money for the USA stops of the Audi FIS Alpine World Cups would be increased. This was because of the US Alpine ski team title partner, Stifle, and its collaboration with the event. As much as a 30% increment was made compared to the previous season, courtesy of which, this became the highest recorded prize in the history of USA skiing and snowboarding. Alone for the USA stops, the first place winner was awarded 58,000 Swiss francs, which is equal to $64,300. The runner-up got 27,000 Swiss francs, $30,000, and the bronze winner won 15,000 Swiss francs, or $16,600. As a result, Michaela Schifrin took home a total prize of 557,000 Swiss francs for her entire season when she came second in the 2024 Women's Fig Skiing World Cup. With 47,000 Swiss francs for each of her wins, she romped in a hefty prize and finished her race on the 97th win mark before she got injured. For Michaela, though, while the money is appreciated, it is her love for the sport that keeps her going, despite the injuries. Once the 2024-25 FIS Skiing World Cup season is concluded, fans can then look forward to the Milano Cortina 2026 Winter Olympics. Yup, women's skiing in 2026 will take place in Cortina, where Schifrin has competed in more than a dozen career races. This is one place in the world I would say whether it's during the games or after. If you travel anywhere, you should travel to this region because it's our favorite stop on the World Cup tour for most of the athletes. One of the favorites at least, she said. The two-time Olympic gold medalist described the views in Cortina as unbelievable and said she is looking forward to the food. My favorite pizza restaurant in the whole world is about an hour away from Cortina, she said. Arguably, Schifrin is now considered the Alpine poster girl. After breaking Stenmark's all-time record for World Cup victories, she is now on track to reach the milestone of 100 World Cup wins. Even Italy's Alberto La Bomba Tomba, one of the best alpine skiers in history and probably the first modern global star in the sport, recognizes Michaela's talents. Congratulations to her. She is special in both slalom and giant slalom, he said. He then pointed out, however, doing downhill skiing when you're physically tired is risky. She had an injury and had to stop, which allowed Lara Gut to take the lead in the overall World Cup standings. This is skiing. For Schifrin, she is definitely more than ready to get back to the snow. In fact, anticipating the Winter Olympics, she made time to make an appearance at this year's Summer Olympics in Paris. Anyhow, Schifrin, who touched base with some of her commercial partners in Paris, will start her 15th World Cup Alpine campaign in late October in Solden, Austria. The preparation is going well, she said. I'm feeling good, I feel healthy, I feel strong. I'm really excited to get on snow and enter the final stages of prep before we start racing again. So yeah, I'm in a good place right now. Watch this to see what other athletes are up to now.